Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be trying out a bunch of different batteries because I get asked all the time, yo, what battery do you think is truly the best one for 510 thread cartridges? Now, obviously, this is all going to be very, very subjective. But I got a bunch of batteries right here today that we're gonna be trying out and I'm gonna be breaking down which one I like the most, which one I like the least, some things that I like about every single battery and so forth, all right, ladies and gentlemen. That way for all the cart users, because I know that that's like a huge demographic here on the channel, use carts, and because it's so convenient, you feel me? So I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of different batteries, everything from big batteries to small batteries, super crazy batteries that have screens, and then other batteries that are just very, very simple and basic, you feel me? So with all that being said, we're also gonna be trying a bunch of different carts here today, and let's just go ahead and hop straight in. Into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the number one battery that's kind of been trending as of recently. This video is going to drop either late September, early October, and this is kind of what's been the new like wave, I guess you can call it, is people using this right here, this type of battery, in order to use their 510 thread carts. Now this right here, obviously as you guys can see, it pretty much looks like a vape, right? It looks like something, uh, hold on, I think I got something a little bit similar over here. Something like this. This is actually a vape, right? Don't ask me why I have it, but I have it. But it looks something very, very similar, right? So when you're out in public, you really wouldn't think that you're hitting a 510 thread cartridge because if you're using it on a stick battery like this one right here, obviously it's gonna be poking out and that's something that you really don't want, all right, ladies and gentlemen. And even if you're using something like the Yoken Uni, the top, the tip is still gonna be sticking out. And this one right here, I'm assuming it's supposed, it's supposed to cover all of it. Let's go ahead and give it a quick little unboxing. But like I said, this is the newest trend as of late, and why do people wanna do it? Because people will wanna keep it extra discreet, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Me personally, like I said, I live in California. I don't really think it's that big of a deal to wait a little bit, but some people really, I mean, I guess some people don't really wanna to wait too much, and they'd rather just hit that right away. So this is what the battery is looking like itself. It looks pretty neat, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty freaking sick, and, um, Oh crap, I don't even know if I just broke it or what the hell. Oh yeah, all right, so that's how it's supposed to go. So this is the base right here, right? This is the part that pretty much just hides it. And obviously this is specialized so you can make sure that you have good airflow and stuff like that because if you were to try to just like do something like this at home, it probably wouldn't turn out that great. So connect it like so, it's already on it and I'm assuming that it's literally just pulled to drag. Wow. All right, that, that's pretty neat, all right? It does have a pretty open airflow, but it has USB-C type charging. It has a button right here on the bottom to make sure that you're turning it on and off. And I don't know if it actually has variable wattage. It doesn't say anything in the user manual, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if like, yeah, you really can't, I don't think there is variable wattage. Oh, actually, three clicks. Yeah, there actually is variable wattage, right, ladies and gentlemen? So that right there is extremely clutch. Now this one, I mean, I like the concept of it if you're trying to hide it. But me personally, I don't know if I really would use it that much because like I said, this is more for like the discreet people who really want to pass off as if they're vaping a vape, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So that one right there will probably be my last choice. Now we got a bunch of other batteries right here. We got four different batteries. Let's go ahead and start off with the two that are a little bit newer to me. I haven't used these before. These right here are just regular stick batteries, right? All right, so right here we got the Lux, which is a smaller version of this. This right here which is the re both of these have variable wattage that you just use to twist with the knobs right here and honestly in my personal opinion this is kind of what i came up on and they're just they just come in very very clutch right all with a simple like twist of a knob you're already at your desired temperature and you really don't have to be tripping too much right and honestly i like these very very much out of these two right here i definitely would probably choose 
The Ari looks a little bit more like my style. Looks a little bit more classic, a little bit more throwback. And this one right here looks like a little bit more of a redesigned version because it has USB Type-C charging and stuff like that. And actually both of them have USB C charging. So that's pretty freaking crazy. But this is throwing it back, right? This is what I'm pretty sure a lot of us probably started with before all the advanced ones started coming out. These right here, you can never go wrong. They're extremely cheap. They have variable wattage with the twist of a knob and they're easy, easy easy, super easy to use. The only thing is that they don't have a covering on them, so if you do drop them and break them, I mean, I mean if you do drop them, you'll probably end up breaking them, and um, yeah, that's the end of that. So those right there, I mean, but like I said, they're extremely cheap. You can never really go wrong with it. And that leaves us with the last two, right? Actually, real quick, before we head on, I think it's only right that we actually take a quick hit off of one of these batteries. And this right here is gonna be the Ari, I believe. And personally, like I said, this is one of my favorite ones. It's one of the one that I grew up on. Super easy to use, five clicks, goes ahead and turns it on. And right here on the bottom, you go ahead and just adjust the variable wattage. I personally like using it like in a a good 2.8 to 3.3, right? That first freaking cart that I hit literally just gave me straight cotton mouth, right? And there's just something about these stick batteries that they just hit so perfectly. So this right here would be honestly my number one go-to. It's just cheap, it's convenient, and it's just a really strong battery. Now, next up, we're moving on to the, the probably another trendy battery right now going out in the industry, and that's gonna be the Yokan Kodo Pro and then the Yokan Uni. So I personally have been using this one as of late, and honestly, I love it. You know, it's small, it's compact, super easy to use. It has a screen on it, variable wattage, everything that you could possibly want. Puff counter, and then it's the same thing on the Uni Pro. But, or yeah, the Uni 2.0, Uni Pro, I forgot the name of it, but either way, this one right here, it has a way that you could actually cover your cartridge. You just could go ahead and put it right here. The only thing that sticks out is the tip. And it's overall a very, very nice battery, but like me alongside with a lot of other people, it's the bulkiness that really kind of takes away. Like I really don't wanna be carrying what seems to be like a vape mod type battery. So that's why I kind of don't really like it too much, right? I pro I just like to keep it plain and simple, something easy, something sleek. And that's where I usually go with the stick type batteries because these are literally just so dope, easy, cheap. And what more could you possibly want, right? These right here are for the people that really just wanna protect their batteries and stuff like, I mean, their carts and they just want a tank of a battery because this one you could probably drop it a couple of times. It's not really, it's gonna keep up, all right? It's gonna keep up whereas if you drop the stick ones or even the Kodo Pro, the battery itself might not mess up, but the actual cart itself will probably break off and that's a big deal breaker for a lot of people, right? But me personally, if we're going to go ahead and be tiering these, like let's go ahead and give a quick, a quick, quick tier breakdown, right? So this one right here for the other, the trending topic right now, I would probably put this last. I personally am not a big fan of this one, but it is a dope design overall, right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's dope for those people that really want to keep it discreet now next up after that I would probably put the uni all right the uni definitely below that I just feel like I like I said the bulkiness is a little bit too much for me but I like the design it's a very high-end super heavy-duty design and um, but like some people like that some people don't I am one of those people that don't really like that all right so that's gonna be on the second to last now, next up is gonna be these right here, which is gonna be the Ari, which is a stick battery. The Lux, personally, I like this one, but it just seems a little bit too small for me. I feel like I'd rather just go with this one right here, the classic, and this right here is a banger. There's just something about it, the nostalgic feeling for me, which I like, you can never really go wrong with, and I'll take this any day of the week, right? So this right here is definitely gonna be my sec like second place winner for sure, and I think the number one, though, that that's gonna take the place is probably gonna be the Yokan Kodo Pro. There's just something about having that puff counter, that battery life counter, that voltage, that 
variable wattage and it's just like super super sick and it's one of my favorite batteries right now right not even joking with you guys but the stick battery is definitely going to be second place and then the others are going to be third fourth and fifth and so forth all right ladies and gentlemen so let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite battery from the ones that we got out here today are you going to stick with the classic are you going to stick with the new and improved ones like these right here let me know let me know but before we end it out let's go ahead and hit it let's go ahead and use the Kodo Pro right we can say that this is the winner and we're not going to go ahead and take a quick rip out of it so we're going to go ahead and stick it on the Kodo Pro easily the sickest battery out to date literally the size of my damn thumb I'm not even joking with you guys literally the size of my damn thumb it's easy to go switch the variable wattage you can see everything on the screen it charges up super fast and you're ready to go let's go in on a rip Perfect, and there's just something about this one. It has the perfect airflow, not too airy, not too restrictive, perfect. And it just, like I said, it's a beast of a battery, all right, ladies and gentlemen. But if you're on a budget, I'm not really too sure what the price difference are, but I'm assuming that the Kodo Pro probably is at least like 10 bucks more than this one right here, right? So with all that being said, let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite preferred battery. And with all that being said, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor by leaving a fat like, comment, sub to the channel. We'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.